let n be the greatest integral multiple of 8 such that no two of its digits are same. Right? What is the reminder when n is divided by 1000? Greatest integral multiple of 8 such that no two of its digits are same. Oh, brilliant. So it cannot be 9955667382. It cannot work like that. No two digits should be same. It should be as large as possible. Right? So first of all, there are 10 digits. This number can maximum be a 10 digit number. It cannot be 11 digit number. We have 11 digits, at least one digit has to repeat. So we are looking for a 10 digit number. Right? And we want it to be as high as possible. How, what is the largest 10 digit number? 99999999999. That can't work. Because we are clearly told there has to be where all no two digits are same. So we want the largest 10 digit number such that no two digits are same. If that number happens to be 8, we are through. It done. We are always straight away saying, hey, we've got the answer. Let's write down that number. That number is 9876543210. This is the largest possible 10 digit number such that all digits are distinct. We cannot have a 11 digit number. The number we are looking for is a 10 digit number. If this number happens to be a multiple of 8, we are done. Brilliant. We are home. If it is not, then we will have to tweak this and try to find a number slightly less than this. But that also happens to be a multiple of 8 and then we have achieved our objective. 9876543210. To check whether this is a multiple of 8, we take this last 3 digits, the test of divisibility. 210 divided by 8. 200 is a multiple of 8. 200 is 25 into 8. So 210 is not a multiple of 8. This number doesn't work. So, so close. With this number at work, we're just writing down the answer. This is the number. Now we have to tweak this and change these. Right? How do you go about it? You say, I want this number to be as large as possible. So I'm going to say 9876543 Till here I'll maintain. And then try to see if I can change this in some form and get a multiple of 8. That doesn't work because it is either 1, 0 or 0, 1. This is not a multiple of 8. This definitely is not a multiple of 8. So going 9876543211 till 2 doesn't work. So our possibility is going to be 9876543. And then we still have 2, 0 and 1 with us. If we can put this in some combination and get a multiple of 8, then we are through. Because 9876543 doesn't work. Till 9876543, we have done. So putting 201 different, ending in 1 won't work. It's not a multiple of 8 that we know. So it should either end in 0 or end in 0. Or either end in 2 or end in 0. Ending in 2, we have 102012. Ending in 0, we have 210120. 2, 1, 0 is the largest possible number, but that doesn't work. 102, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0. This is the largest of the three numbers. This happens to be a multiple of 8. 120. This 60 into 2. It's 30 into 4. It's 15 into 8. 120 is a multiple of 8. Lovely. Or this number 9876543120 that number works this number is the largest possible number with no two digits being the same it also happens to be a multiple of 8 now i want to do another exercise i wanted to find the largest possible number where no two digits are same that happens to be a multiple of 4 and then one that happens to be a multiple of 9 Try both of that, same condition, 4 and 9. If that works, then try 11 and 13. Those are tougher. But 4 and 9, I'm sure you can do. So the largest possible number that, that no two digits repeat, that happens to be a multiple of 8, is this number. When you divide this number by 1000, what will be the remainder? The last three digits. Dividing a number by 1000, the remainder is nothing but the last three digits. This number can be written as 9876543 into 1000 plus 120. Divide by 1000, this part will be the quotient, this part will be the remainder. 
or a reminder when you divide by 1000 on the last three digits of a number or the last three digits are going to be 120. Lovely question, tough, challenging question. You have to try different things step by step and methodically break it.